Good day everyone. Today, we'll explain or demonstrate on how to assess sources from our chosen article or website as well as have a brief talk on evaluating sources. Here's a question. Why is there a need to evaluate your sources? First, evaluating information sources is an important part of the research process. Second, not all information is reliable or true, nor will all information be suitable for your paper or project. Third, print and internet sources vary widely in their authority, accuracy, objectivity, currency, and coverage. And the last one, users must be able to critically evaluate the appropriateness of all types of information sources prior to relying on the information. And also, in evaluating your sources, you may either use the cacao or quapple test. But, in our case, we'll use the quapple test to determine whether or not our chosen article or website is reliable. So the C stands for the currency. R stands for the relevance. The first letter A stands for authority. And the second letter A stands for accuracy. P stands for the purpose. And lastly, L stands for the location. Currency. The timeless of the information. When was the information published or posted, revised or updated? To check how recent the research is, we can check our date near the title or author. To see how recent the website have been updated or, how, or when it is published, try looking at the bottom of the page showing the range of the showing the range of year and where it was published or the name of journal. Relevance, how does the information fits into your need? How well does the source support your topic? By looking at our headlines of the title of an article which is, this word chemical bond acts like a mashup of hydrogen and covalent bonds. Chemical bond acts like a mashup, on the other hand, are strong chemical bonds that hold together atoms within molecules and result from electrons being shared among atoms. Hydrogen and covalent bonds. They hold together substances that are used by the body for critical aspects. Chemical bonds act like, acts like a mashup of hydrogen and covalent bonds. The definitely the relevance of this site is absolutely on point. Next is authority. So authority is the source of the information and it answers the following questions. Is the author's name identified? What are the author's credentials? In this article, as you can see, when you scroll it down, you will see the author's name near or above the publication date here by Emily Conover. So when you click this one, so it will direct you to the author's credential. So here, as you can see, Emily Conover, she is a physics writer here. When you scroll it down, you can also see the other works of Emily Conover or the other stories of Emily Conover. Here. And let's go back. So again, you can see the author's name above or near the publication date. And also when you scroll it down, you'll also see another uh, author's credential here at the bottom part about Emily Conover. Again, she is a physics writer. Emily Canover has a PhD in physics from the University of Chicago. She is a two-time winner of the DC Science Writers Association News Brief Award. So again, you can see the author's credential or the author's name at the bottom part. And also you can see the author's name at the top part above the publication date. Next is the accuracy. 
accuracy. Does the author have a lot of citations in his or her text? Is there a bibliography or works cited section? The answer is yes. As you can see here, these are the sources of supporting articles of the selected text. And these are also came from a reliable source. Going back to the text, where in this section, Zondal Ion's behavior is being discussed and supported by the chemist Eric Nebery, who co authored a 2017 paper in science on the Zondal Ion. Another one, hybrid bond, is being characterized by Tokmakov and colleagues. And it is supported by the conventional wisdom stated that the hydrogen atom is bound to one fluorine by a covalent bond and to the other fluorine by a hydrogen bond. The tone of this text is formal. It does not sound casual. Information are being verified with multiple sources. Next is the purpose. So the purpose is the reason the info exists and it answers the following questions. Why does the source exist? And why does the information exist? So in this case, we can simply identify or locate the purpose of the first paragraph of the article or text. So basically the purpose is to discuss how chemical bonds are defined like which acts like a hybrid between covalent bonds and hydrogen bonds or the hybrid of the two so when you click the purpose the how chemical bonds are defined when you click this one as you can see you will be directed to another website with additional articles or researches that can support the purpose of the article or text location where the source is published where is the source published is it published digitally or print simply by looking the link of the website we can easily evaluate if it's reliable or not in our case it is reliable site and also we can say that it is reliable because it is published organizationally. For your information, for almost a century, science news journalists have covered advances in science, medicine, and technology for the general public, including the 1925 Scopes Monkey Trial. And also, science news or science news articles aims to empower people to evaluate the news and the world around them and it, has, it was founded in 1921 as an independent non-profit source of accurate information on the latest news of science, medicine, and technology and it is published by the Society for Science, a non-profit membership organization dedicated to public engagement in scientific research and education. So here's an overview of our chosen article or website. That's all for today guys and we hope you've learned something for today and remember we need to examine our sources first for us to determine whether our chosen content is reliable or not especially in these days when fake news is sweeping throughout the internet so we must carefully consider and select the best website or content 